everyone. It is that time of the year again where student athletes are returning back to the field and the court. If you follow all the different CSC athletic pages for all the different athletic teams, you've seen that even the spring sports have gotten underway with their off-season practices. For this episode, we're going to strictly focus on the football team as they'll be starting their new season tomorrow against the University of Nebraska Kearney Lopers, a returning foe from the past years. Last time the Eagles faced off against the Lopers was back in 2020. So again, a good way to see some good competition early on in a Week 0 contest, a renewed rivalry against an in-state competitor, the Lopers. Before we get looking ahead at this season's schedule, I feel it's kind of important to revisit some of the past seasons for Shadron State. So let's rewind back to the 2022 season for a moment. The 2022 season for the Eagles was a bit of a challenging one for Shadron State. They would finish with a 3-8 overall record on the year. The three wins coming off of Fort Lewis uh, 56 to three was that score. Adam State 29, 27, and 17 to three against New, Mex- New Mexico Highlands. In the season, the Eagles' offense was posed with a few challenges, and they used a handful of different quarterbacks throughout the season as well. As Heath B. Miller was battling some injuries, as he was the starting quarterback during the 2022 season. The other challenges. At hand, we're handling the the ball on offense as some of those turnovers happened in some of those key pivotal moments, kind of putting a damper on that success and positivity for the Eagles and some of those ball games that they quite potentially were within one or two possessions of tying it or even taking the lead. It wasn't for a lack of ta- uh, talent during that 2022 season. The squad had quite a good list of individuals uh, great players uh, on the team. Great moments coming from Ali Musa, uh, Jalen Starks, Jaden Cox, uh, the two running backs that were used on the ground game for Shadron State. And then the rising star wide receivers, we all know Tommy Thomas from the last season. The talent was also present on defense as the Eagles uh, frequently swarmed the backfield. And the help came from Gabe Perkins. Uh, Hunter O'Connor, Bobby Peel, and Xavier Harrell, some of those common names you heard getting and disrupting the offensive backfield of the RMAC opponents. Lots of these players were juniors and even sophomores, so the Eagles kind of had that benefit of a, a learning year during that 3-8 and eight season and kind of had some of that game time experience. So honestly, experience is invaluable in a lot of things, and I think that's Um, something that really helped out the Eagles, uh, as you'll find out here, um, that you saw in the 2023 season. So we flipped the page to the 2023 season now, where the Eagles started on a positive note with a non-conference win on the road over Quincy University. That was a really close game, 35-34, to the final score in that one. Eagles... Even though falling one game shy of a 500 record on the season last season, they carried optimism and positivity all the way through the very end of the season. And it really paid off in the end with a win uh, for CSC over conference rival South Dakota Mines uh, from just north of the border. Eagles would be able to sport the Eagle Rock Trophy after the win for the first time in 16 games And it was the 73rd edition of the rivalry matchup between the Hard Rockers and the Eagles. It was established back in 1912. And so the Eagles hanging on to that Eagle Rock trophy. With Heath B. Miller not on the roster for the 2023 season, the Eagles had to find their new starting quarterback. And they turned to the arm of Preston Pearson, the sophomore from Kearney, Nebraska. And it was... More of a duo effort as Mason Hamilton also saw some time, the junior from Gillette, Wyoming. As for the defensive side during the 23 season, they stayed solid once again. Um, Some of the same names 
you'll see coming up from the previous year, the 2022 season, really came up in big waves for the Eagles in 2023. An emerging name uh, that you may have heard called frequently in the 2023 season was Dax Urardi, a sophomore from Wright, Wyoming. And then on the side of special teams, Wilson Yee brought his kicking and singing talent to the Shadron community. Uh, Yee would go on to the primary field goal kicking duties and Brody Eisenbraun doing most of the punting for the Eagles. And Yee, the moment I can remember for him in the 2023 season, and I know he remembers this too, is drilling the school record long field goal of 61 yards against Western Colorado going in to the half, which I was on the call for uh, with CSC Live. So overall, really a successful way to build up from uh, the challenging year uh, that 2022 season was. So a five and six record, a really, really good one to look back on if you're if you're Shadron State and kind of, you know, add fuel to the fire for this 2024 season uh, as you face off against the Carney Lopers. So as I said, another new page about to be written in the form of the 2024 season. The highly anticipated contest has been making the headlines between the Eagles and the Lopers for the contest against the Lopers. This will be the 73rd meeting between these two teams and will present a new trophy at the very end of things. The Good Life Trophy will be unveiled during the game on Thursday evening. But... There is some questions in the Shadron State offensive side of things. The question looms, are there going to be any offensive leadership changes at that quarterback position? Well, what I can tell you and what, I, what I'd see, folks, is the Eagles added a transfer from Saddleback College in DJ Ralph. So for right now, only time will tell. We'll have to wait and see what... Um, what head coach Jay Long decides to do tomorrow against the Lopers and what he decides to do following that, seeing the performance from potentially DJ Ralph, Preston Pearson, or even Mason Hamilton, might see all three of them too, depending on how the Eagles want to approach the offensive game against the Lopers. So some of the key players to keep an eye on for Shadron this season uh, will be the defensive star Hunter O'Connor, uh, wide receiver Tommy Thomas, uh, as he made a couple of really good catches last season. So I'm going for um, over 60 plus yards. So definitely a good target to keep an eye on when the Eagles are on offense. And as well, uh, tight end Peter Crone, a really good resource for the Shadron offense. All of these players received some form of RMAC honors this past season. Now, before the Eagles kick off the season, let's take a look at the season schedule provided by the CSC's athletic department. The Eagles given straight th three straight home games to open up the 2024 campaign with games against University of Jamestown. That'll be on Thursday, September 5th and Colorado School of Mines on Saturday, September 21st. Then CSC takes to the road and travels to the beautiful city of Grand Junction, Grand Junction, Colorado, that is, on Saturday, September 28th, to take on Colorado Mesa. Then the Hall of Fame game will be hosted back home at Don Beebe Stadium on the 5th of October. That'll be against the Grizzlies of Adams State. Turning the page ahead uh, into the month of October even further, the 12th of October, a long road trip to Las Vegas, New Mexico for a showdown with New Mexico Highlands Cowboys. Fort Lewis will follow uh, for the homecoming game on October 19th back in Shadron. And then closing out the October slate will be a matchup against Black Hill State on the road up in Spearfish, South Dakota. And then South Dakota Mines comes to town to try and retake that Eagle Rock Trophy from Shadron on November 2nd. And then the final two games of the season, the Eagles will wrap up with Western Colorado on November 9th and CSU Pueblo 
on November 16th. I wish the best of luck to the CSC football team and all of the CSC athletes as they get underway with their new season and the new school year. And I look forward to a good game against the Lopers tomorrow at 6 p.m. at Don Beebe Stadium. You can find that game on CSC Live, and you can also tune in to Double Q Country, Dave Collins with the call on the radio side of things. So excited to see how that matchup shakes out tomorrow evening in Shadron. Go Eagles!